Oi, oi, lads. All right, we have a metagame challenge this weekend. And I'll be honest, I don't know what, what it is. Give me one second, I can find that out. Historic, is that right? Yes, okay, nice. It's a metagame challenge. So historic metagame challenges this weekend, and then the, the alchemy qualifier weekend is next weekend. All right, let's give this a go, chat. Triple, triple combo Abzan. Triple threat. We have three infinite combos. Samwise, Cat, and Yogg. Two Wolves, and Yogg. And Amalia, Wild Growth Walker, and a Life Gain Source. Three infinite combos. We've got at least five copies of every combo piece of all three combos. Uh, at least six copies, I guess, with a Cauldron. Got fair plan with the knight with the with the with the attendants, the hunt masters, the knights. Got good mana. Looks absolutely beautiful. Let's give it a go. Now, I'll be honest. I don't really know how to play yog. I'm very inexperienced at the yoggers. I imagine that you keep this though. Maybe not, that is a lot of lands. Oh, let's we'll see what happens. Go. 24 hours to learn how to play Yogg chat. How hard can it be? All right, we need to play, we need to cut like, around about seven of our lands. Let's play 15. Hmm. Point is playing Jeskai Control. I guess that they're maybe not playing Jeskai though. It's not looking good this game. I mean, we're not doing much, but neither's opponent to be fair. Oh my god, the veteran is like making this Proctor <laughs> insanely annoying. Decline? Pay. <laughs> okay. So we solved the minigame puzzle. Apparition is useful, of course. Juggernaut, useful, of course. Knight. <clears throat> Knight is useful, of course. It's got, it's got to be Apparition, right? Game's just going to be too awkward without killing this Proctor. That is the apparition trigger. I would like to pay two. <laughs> I am 
almost sad to see you go. I am almost sad to see you go. We've got the edge in this fight. Yoggers! Nice lands. Thank you, thank you. Archmage's charm. Okay. Fragment reality. That's fine. What is the card doing, man? What is the card doing? Sorry, I'm late. Hurry. I have no idea. Cauldron seems nice, though. Uh, this triple combo deck does make using your cord, like, <laughs> kinda hard, right? You've got such an obscene amount of options, man. So I have... I have Yogg. I have Life Gain. Hapatra, surely, right? Hapatra? Man. Okay. One moment, please, chat. One moment, please. One moment, please. I'm, I'm simply doing a little bit of gaming at the moment. 
<clears throat> Please bear with me while I learn how to play Yawgmoth, because the number of Yawgmoth matches I've played in my life is about... five. Okay, so decline? Imara decline. I really wish this rope would frick off though. Is that it? No, because it's not it yet, because I'm going to run out of snakes, right? So I don't know what I can do here. I can card for one. I'm gonna run out of snakes when they run out of creatures, right? I should have, actually, I can get the wolf. Cat? Nope. What what do I do here? I need to put a counter on the snake and sack the wolf. <clears throat> I think. Then I put a counter on the wolf and sack a snake. Okay, nice. <clears throat> That was good. We used one of our combos. That was great. Every card I drew was a land. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, we did flood in that game quite a lot. We drew, like, we drew 16 of our 22 lands. <laughs> We have been flooding since the start of the game, man. Okay, so we want Peddler. Now, how do you get Peddler in? That is the question, isn't it? I guess because of your hunt masters, I guess you only want you only want to bring in two. Yeah, so against Gandalf, we'll bring in two peddlers and just take out our two rope lines because the tokens don't actually the tokens will never be able to attack because they're just a wrath andy, right? So that's that's a pretty clean sideboard, and I think. Um, the angel is also interesting because they're against specifically this Gandalf because of the Lotus Field. Can't cast spells with mana value greater than the number of turns that they have begun. But again, it's better for that just to be... We actually have more copies of it if it's in the sideboard, right? Because we have Huntmaster. So yeah, I guess we'll just leave it like this. This is historic, man, yeah. Okay, turn one halfling seems great. Cauldron also nice. Thought you wanted a combo, a copy of your combo pieces inside for Huntmaster. I do have a copy of them. It's only the Amalia Wild Growth uh, Wild, Amalia Wild Growth Walker we don't have, right? <clears throat> but we've got a copy of Yog, and we've got a copy of Wolf. We may maybe we should have a Hapatra in there. Yeah. 
think adding putting like a Samwise and a cat in the sideboard and then a an Amalia and a Wild Growth Walker would be I don't, I don't think we can manage that unfortunately. I can card for three. <laughs> Maths, bro, the it's hard, man. Game is hard. Peddler, it's, it's either a peddler, it's got to be peddler, or just don't use your card for now. I just don't see how we can not use it, though. <laughs> I mean, that's obviously fine. Proctorino, huh? Proctor, Proctorino. If I can get Yog. I don't see why I wouldn't. We win? No. Not yet. Good turn though, still. <laughs> Peddler, yes, but I can't get it down now. <laughs> Yogg is so silly, man, of course. Okay, I guess we pass, right? I mean, listen, it's hard for Gandalfs to beat, like, draw 10 for no mana. It's just tough. Especially when we can just untap an infinite combo at any moment, too. So, so, so sick. If anything, over, like, a, over a lot of matches with this deck, 22 lands might be too little. You see? <clears throat> That's why we don't cut lands. Mm -hmm. 
Bro, people who just is this the same opponent? Or is it just someone playing a different the same deck? I think tap this for blue mana and cast Agatha's Soul Cauldron. You fucker. Tell you what though, we did draw our one off cavern, which is kinda nice. Human has been named. That's pretty true. Stupid Proctor ass. We need one more mana to be able to knight and actually pay the Proctor tax. It's a dead format. It's not as dead as I thought it was, man. 10,000 best of threes in the last week. Like, plat to mythic, it's, that's a lot, man. Hello, chat. Hello. <laughs> Anybody alive? Anybody out there in the world? Doggo? Doggo's okay. Doggo's the easiest, like, combo piece to find, right? you for convoke please and i'd like to use my paths of the dead and i'll happily pay two for your proctor <laughs> counter target spell <clears throat> okay resolves or does it <laughs> nice card mate <laughs> 
very impressive Gandalf gameplay. Good game. I'll see you next match. It's classic, isn't it? <laughs> One of the great classics of our time. What? What is going on, man? What happened to my match, dude? <laughs> no sideboard allowed. Alright, new opponent spotted. What card made it uncounterable? It was our Cavern of Seals, which we've drawn again, Pog. <laughs> the hell is this? Swamp Go. Who the hell's saying Swamp Go in 2023? Twenty twenty three. It's still twenty twenty three, man. It's uh, the new year only starts uh, during the summer months. I guess we should get rid of our our Samwise, right? Against a trespasser deck. Let's go for Yogg. Carve into that Yoggingtons. This is historic, man. Fable of the Mirror Breaker. It's a good card. One of the best cards. Be a shame if everything just died. Yeah, but I can't. Uh, I can't kill the trespasser, huh? I don't quite have enough green to do, or green creatures to do a cord if I drew it, so I guess it's better just to pass here. Rakdos midrange, huh? And my historics. In my historic format. I'm sure I'll try it at some point, man, but I've got a lot of shit going on right now and magic, there's so many events and stuff, but oh. I will uh, I will play it when there is nothing going on. Which, to be fair, is a lot of the time. It just so happens that right now, it's not the case, right? Huh? 
world's worst Crucius. What the hell? I kill your Crucius. Alright, sadly, Cauldron does not work with either of the good creatures that we have in our graveyard right now. Uh, <clears throat> okay, that's pretty good, though. So I can put Amalia to 19 and then sack the wild growth walker. could just let it go through and blow everything up, but it's, that does, just doesn't seem worth it, man. Um, right. So. 17 is on the stack. 18 is on the stack. 19 is on the stack. Minus a counter. Sack a wolf. One second, chat, one second. <clears throat> ah! Ah! No, that's okay. No, that's not okay. That's not okay. Fuck, what's going on? Okay, I'll let Amalia resolve. Now, there's definitely something insane we can do there, but what, what? What was I supposed to do? How did I stop? Because... I had no time out, so I didn't have time to think. What was I supposed to do there? No, I, I don't need to sack Amalia, man. There's no way. I should I should sack the veteran, right? I can sack the veteran, and then I can just... Uh, Amalia... Once Amalia's huge, I can do Amalia... Wolf. Loops, right? Uh, Amalia Wild Growth. So Amalia Wild Growth Walker to give me infinite minus one, minus one counters and life. And I just keep sacking the wolf. The, the problem is that I had to sack the veteran though at that point. I sack the veteran once the Amalia gets big. Or big but not 20 power. <laughs> Right? Or, or sack Wild Growth Walker, yeah, but the Wild Growth Walker was itself like a 15 power creature, so it's better to sack the Veteran because they both do the same thing. Or they, they both do the same thing if we're using the Amalia. Okay, I, I need to I need to work out what was going on in that turn, man, or at least like how to do it best. Oh, so I want to I want to draw as many cards as possible. 
Without Amalia blown up the board. So I'm pretty sure what I should do is let my Amalia Wild Growth Walker loop until Amalia's 19 power, then sack the veteran. And then just use my wolf to while doing minus counters on Amalia, and then the Wild Growth Walker will do a plus counter. And then you just loop the wolf, right? Which is what I was going to do, to be fair, until I ran out of time. So um, I think we were doing it correctly. <laughs> two push, two thoughts, he's okay. Can't loop the wolf though. I, I, I can loop it a lot though, right? I can draw a full hand, I guess, if I just start that. If I sack the veteran earlier, not maybe before 19, so I guess I guess I'm gonna go up one Amalia counter every two times. So I should sack the veteran when the Amalia is at like say nine or ten power. And then I can draw a full hand while gaining like 80 life. Or I mean I could I could draw my whole deck if I wanted. I just wouldn't be able to play any cards. Okay. I cannot use my Path of the Dead to card for a wolf. Opponent is so greedy, man. What is this chump? They're not double blocking. <laughs> Absolutely insane, Greed Lord. <laughs> I guess I respect it. Protection from humans. Yes, true, true, true. That's pretty true. Okay, so Card of Colin is just the most impossible spell to cast in the history of magic, understood. <laughs> Streamer doesn't know what he's doing. I, d I don't know what I'm doing when it comes to play Yogg, no. I've, I've barely ever played Yogg before. Normal Yogg is hard enough to play, but we've got fucking 20 infinite combos alongside it. So yeah, it's not the, it's not the easiest, that's true. To be fair, we are on 70 life. We're gonna be okay. Opponent's good at drawing Fable? Yes, but that's okay. <laughs> Shelly is a, a bit less of a concern when you're on 70 life. <laughs> okay, I guess I'll take two damage. Okay, so clearly this deck is definitely what we want to be playing. God frickin' damn.
<laughs> Bro, what on earth do you do? <laughs> it's impossible to play, man. Huh? I guess I'm cording for Amara, right? Samwise plus cat is GG, yes, but only if they don't kill. Actually, yeah, probably, yeah, probably, yeah. Let's do Samwise cat. Three, two, out of two mana left over. Okay. I need to do it on their turn. Hepatra and Wolf also works, yeah, but again, I don't have enough mana for it. Is dead. Okay. Yeah, somewhere somewhere is cat. The these Chandras and Shelleys and stuff are just so insanely mopey when we've got 50 life. <laughs> they don't fucking do anything. <laughs> Today's my lucky day. Crocs are... Oh my god, you're so lucky, bro. What on earth? Okay. Okay. Card or cat? No. Draw card. Draw card. Okay. <laughs> Take two damage, go down to fifty two. Take three damage, go down to forty nine. As long as you don't have fatal push number twenty, we're okay. I'll two for Huh. <clears throat> How did that even get exiled though? Oh, actually, no. I did it with a hunt master, man. Fuck me, okay. It's a learning stream. Dude, this deck is absolutely broken. So yes, we we will be we will be learning it. Do not do not think for a second that we will not. So I believe this is
I don't know. I guess it's just the wolf, huh? I didn't have my Samwise, man. Fuck me. I didn't even check what was available to me on the sideboard either. No attacks. <laughs> Would a one of extraction specialist be good? <clears throat> yeah. We needed, I needed something there like that's good if I have an empty hand and an empty board with cauldron yog. I had nothing. It's just something that makes more than one creature, right? Would have been would have been massive there. <clears throat> but I didn't have it available. This time tomorrow, I would have won this game for sure. <clears throat> that cro the Croxa off of the Chandra, definitely f Spanner in the works for sure. Yep. I mean, I guess I had to win like way earlier in the game when I fucked up the Amalia turn, right? There's a lot going on, man. There's a lot going on. <laughs> Can you win this? I, I have no idea, but it doesn't really matter. It's fine, doesn't do anything. I don't have a wolf left in the deck. I have a wolf in the sideboard with two hunt masters left, but. Okay. 
This is where an academes would be nice. Uh, there's lots of things that are nice, man. There are a lot of nice things in life. Like, what is going on here? <clears throat> I should be sacking my knight, right? I, I should be keeping the green creatures, I guess. They should have. They should have copied the trespasser there, right? And uh, eaten my wolf. I mean, I think this is okay. Excuse <laughs> me. It's definitely good if they're playing Groxa. You just don't really have enough mana left to do anything too crazy now, right? Can you win already, please? Can you stop caring about winning so early in the process, you middle of the barrel curve average fucking clown, man? I bet you're sitting wearing a pair of jeans as well. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <clears throat> We're trying to get to the fucking top here. Who the hell cares about winning the first few matches? You're never going anywhere in life, man. <clears throat> if you start caring about shit like that, What is wrong with a pair of jeans? Nothing is wrong with a pair of jeans, man. Nothing. Nothing's right with them either, huh? They're just literally bang average, did. Stop shooting for average. Get some fucking cojones. We're shooting for the top. I, I actually don't own any pairs of jeans, but just for the record, I have no problem with people wearing jeans. I just have a problem with, you know, I have a problem with wearing them myself because they're uncomfortable. 
Or, I mean, I guess I guess jeans are not that uncomfortable, but they are certainly less comfortable than other clothing. I think we can all agree on that. Big balls, subtle brag. Honestly, I think my balls are about average size. But jeans are still uncomfortable. <laughs> it, was, it was not a brag. <clears throat> like, it's, it's not a brag. They're literally about average size. But it's, it's not really that part. It, it's more the legs that are uncomfortable when it comes to jeans, in my opinion. Most clothing is uncomfortable in that area, right? As the jeans or otherwise, that that's a given. But when it comes to jeans, they they are also uncomfortable elsewhere, whereas most uh, some other clothes are not. All right, I would like to tap my dudes to create mana, and then let's see what happens. Uh, okay, that's not what I meant to do, but it's what I have done. Telling you, chat, this deck is something like off the Richter scale, by the way. We are cooking. We are cooking! I would appreciate it if the rope would, like, piss off, though. Why is it just going down so considerably fast? It's very offensive to me. Like it's, I'm, I'm taking game actions, but the rope continues to go down. I'm trying to take more game actions to slow the rope down. It's doing like the five minute warning thing. Rope. But this turn was this turn was actually not nearly as long as some of our other turns. <clears throat> Hello? I pressed a button? Can can you do the button that I pressed? Game? No, nobody has priority. I've broken the game. <coughs> what the hell? We're, we're, we're stuck. Wait, what? Wait, they have priority? Why do they have priority? I clicked my cutthroat, man. What is going on? <coughs> Whatever indeed, Chandra. Whatever indeed.
Okay. Easy win. We only needed 22 minutes of the clock. So basically, metagame challenge is about this time tomorrow. We've got 24 hours to bring those 22 minute wins down to, well, let's, let's say a maximum of 10. I think that can be done. <laughs> Given that we're start, we're basically our starting point is zero experience. It shouldn't take too long to like ramp up that win time. The deck is absolutely insane. I mean, I should have won in like turn four with Amalia Wildgrowth Walker. We also need to learn what to do on that turn because that that was really confusing. That one. The re the rest of the clock was just eaten up by, you know, inexperience, not really knowing what creatures to be taken in which situations just because we have so many options right with our deck is filled with one-offs and then we've got all of these tutors and stuff <laughs> but we're we're absolutely on to something though that is clear with this <clears throat> the triple threat combo deck <laughs> No. No, no, no. Out of sideboard, huh? I'd imagine we quite like Fatal Push. Always with the fatal pushes, huh, chat? Yes, our, our cavern, our, our cavern of souls should be like it should be named in human, whenever possible. So it begins. What the fuck do you do? I mean, I think it's just Huntmaster for Yogg, but... <laughs> we don't quite have enough creatures to go... to go Yogg card for Wolf, unfortunately, but... <laughs> One creature off. So maybe maybe I should card first, especially when they're holding up mana like this.
Now, what on earth do you do, though? We, ha we do have two cards, so we can go for, like, Wild Growth Walker Amalia or, or Cat... Um... Cat Sam? <clears throat> or we can just go for, like, Wolf and Apatra... Cutthroat, Cutthroat and Wolf maybe? Who knows? Just Amalia them? I mean, Amalia is not that good against Rakdos, so right with all the removal. I mean, we need to learn this. Uh, so against open mana, what's the best one to take? It's not. It's not Amalia. <clears throat> Samwise Cat is good against open mana, but only if the Yogg's already in play, which it's not. Uh, I mean, I, I guess I'm just getting the wolf, right? The wolf is the best against removal. <laughs> Sam Cat might let you rebuy stuff later. Yeah, but opponent will just kill the Samwise, right? When uh, when I try and bring the cat in, like this way they can't kill the wolves. So as soon as I play Yog and they target it with the removal, they're just gonna die, right? No, Samwise might be a good tier though. Is Samwise better than Cutthroat? I just need a life gain source, right? <clears throat> and I guess it's better to take this one, surely. Leave up white. Okay, now what? Do I, do I have to wait? I can't wait, right? Because I need to draw my... I guess I do need to pass, yeah. Sam's a good draw. <clears throat> yes, if it wasn't uh, my end step, Sam would be good.
Yo dog, any any corridors? Any corridors? With cutthroat we'd win. Well I already I have cut through it, right? I've got two <coughs> two cards in the deck. This removal spell will surely work. Dude, this deck is so insane, huh? Holy moly, man. This is historic, yeah. Yogmoth is a mistake. <laughs> yeah, I mean, there's not many creatures you could call a mistake, but Yog is maybe one of them, yes. What's the backup to Stonebrain? Just win a few games and get out of bronze, man. Shouldn't be too hard. Cutthroat triggers do I have in the stack right now? One, right? So I have one more damage than is otherwise known. I see. Stone brain sideboard, true. So true, brother. Opponent <laughs> really wants to win this one, huh? Trying. Let's see what happens. <clears throat> okay. Go out there, go out there. That was good. Perfect use of all resources. Ecuador. Ecuador. <laughs>